Okay, so let's figure out how to do joysticks and levers in VR. As you can see, the more I tilt, the greater the value in the console. So we can use the more tilt to bring more speed to your ship or whatever you're using, if you need that. So I'm trying to keep this super simple. I only have an empty game object, I'm calling it joystick, making sure that the C-axis pointing, is pointing straight up. Inside this empty game object is a sphere, a cylinder, and a smaller sphere, which I call top. The top needs to have a collider that is triggered upon it. The joystick, the empty game object, needs a rigid body that is kinematic. And the script, I'm calling it joystick control. So go ahead and add that script right now. I'm using the Oculus integration, but you do not need this. You just need in your hand of your player, it needs to be the tag player hand, a rigid body that is kinematic and a collider that is trigger. So in the script, I have three variables, the top of the joystick, which you have to drag in, in the editor, just like this. And then I have two private variables that showing the current tilt backwards and forward and side to side. In the update function, I'm getting the tilt in the x-axis backwards and forwards. And if it's below 350 and above 290, that means we're going backwards. I'm using this to normalize the number to get it to be positive and the same as going forward. You don't have to understand this, just copy it. So right here, if you want to move something, you want to move a car or a ship or an airplane, you do it right here. You're using the forward backward tilt as speed, since if you tilt more, this will be higher. So it's great to use it as speed. And same here for going forward. And now side to side, I do the exact same thing, but on the C axis instead. And here you could use this to, to turn your ship or crane or whatever you're using. You could obviously also move it, but I'm going to say turn here. And the same for going left. And there's only one more function and it's an on trigger stay. And if it's the player hand, then transform that look at the hand pretty much. And that's why we need it to be straight up like this. And that is it guys, that is all we need. Now if we press play and keep an eye on the console, the numbers are higher the more I tilt it. And that's just what we need for, from a joystick or a lever. So enjoy and like and subscribe and the full project is available on Patreon. Thank you.